people ask me this question. Can you make nacho wings on the stove? Well, yes you can. I'm going to send a link down below where I got the idea. Uh, where I first, actually where I first saw nacho wings and beer is optional on this one, folks. So, we're going to get right straight to it. First of all, you're going to have yourself a skillet, a little bit of oil on there, getting that warmed up. Because we're going to char these up just a little bit. You don't have to cook them, just char them right up. Now, normally you would cook these on your grill, uh, charcoal or gas. But today we're going to do a little something a little different. We're going to put this on the stove. Um, so we're just get things all nice and warmed up here. Okay, let's get our stove ready. We're going to set it to bake at 350 and probably going to set the timer for about an hour. We probably won't use the whole hour, but we're going to check it for um, doneness of the uh, ingredients that you're going to need. You're probably going to need some uh, bacon bits. Now you can buy, buy bacon bits at like Costco is a big bag, but I just took like half a package of uh, bacon and I baked them in the oven. Um, you guys know how to do that. The instructions were pretty much on the packages. Also going with, uh, with these wings, um, I made some homemade french fries, um, had them soak them in water for about an hour. Some stuff on this one, it's probably going to add some oil to them and we're going to use our air fryer. And now for the wings. If you want to call these things wings, um, our local uh, grocery store is starting to really skimpy out. Um, and not a sponsor, but I'd rather get my wings from Aldi's. They have a better selection. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> but it is what it is. The go-to spice is the blend. This thing is like a staple in our home. Another up. Uh, second runner-up on the spice uh, is our caramelized uh, onion butter that we're going to be mix uh, that I mixed in with this. This is the other one that I like to use a lot, but you put those two together, and my God, it's good. Add a little bit of oil. We're going to get these guys going. I'm going to try to set this up. And um, no thrills to it. Just uh, one basket and the other. Um, this is right after I char the wings a little bit and I made a mess on the stove. So, yes, that's going to be cleaned up. Okay, so we're going to set the power on. Uh, let's see, we want match. Now, usually with this machine, if it says match, normally on one basket, if it's set for, I put it for 400 for 20 minutes. If you're doing a match, it recommends to double that. So we're going to double that. And I also have a timer on Alexa. And we're just going to slam that thing up. You get that started. Now the stove uh, is up to par. I'm going to put a timer on that for about an hour. And the stove is clean. Kinda. Okay, run these and don't forget to hit the pause button on your ninja to give the baskets a little shake. Now, some people like them a little limpy, some people like them a little overcooked. I'm in between. Now, the wings. I have to char them up a little bit. I just threw these guys right into the stove. Um, I also drained the grease out too. I drained out the grease and I just threw them right back in the pan and I threw them right back in the oven. Now we're going to cook them. Another thing that's really handy is an instant thermometer. You can grab these. And since I'm doing a uh, talk over, as you guessed it, YouTube probably flip out because I'm jamming out in the kitchen. And so we got everything going pretty good. Got our jams going. And uh, yeah. So, so for the toppings, toppings we're going to use uh, some sharp cheddar cheese, some mozzarella, ghost pepper, some wing sauce, and barbecue sauce. And don't forget to shake. The 
you gotta be careful on those knobs because they like to switch. And the chicken is starting to look pretty good. It smells pretty good. Got about a half an hour on this one. Like I said, we're probably not gonna use the whole hour. There's a reason for this. And again, don't forget to shake. The fries are coming out pretty good. And we're gonna get our instant thermometer ready. We're gonna check these guys out. Now normally it's like 165, but for wings, it's it goes from 190 to whatever i'd rather have them cooked you know on here some people might say they're overcooked but uh, they're fine they'll be fine some of them are at 170 200 but these guys are pretty much uh they're done look at that i think they look pretty good we've got five more minutes on the fries and again don't forget to shake All right, now let's top these off. We're gonna grab some uh, little cheddar cheese, give a little topping. Now you don't need to engulf this thing. It depends, if you like cheese a lot, you can put as much as you want. I've done it last time and that's why I drained the grease out. Even if you uh, do it on the grill, you get a little bit of grease, but um, something about cheese and grease, it's, to me, it's, it, 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 it's nasty. <laughs> Gonna add some mozzarella. Mozzarella. Again, you don't need a lot, just wanna make it look uh, colorful. And I'm recording this with one hand, so it's, it's kinda hard. And sorry again for the talk over because I had fans going, uh, music playing, kids running around in the background, so it's can hardly ever hear me so we're gonna put some top the rest of the toppings is the bacon bits and um, fresh jalapenos are better but I had a jar of it so it's good also I'm going to add some uh, ghost pepper hot sauce just a drizzle you don't have to you know soak it um, also again if you like hot sauce a lot of hot sauce or just a hint Uh, also, 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 <laughs> also, also, we're gonna add some barbecue sauce. Um, you can use whatever barbecue sauce you want. I really like this stuff. This stuff is really, really good. Like I said, just a drizzle. You don't need to go nuts on it. Now, these nacho wings, I'm also gonna add some wing sauce to them as well. You can add anything you want. Like if you ever had like a, um, like crazy, like regular nachos, people put olives, they put sausage. You know, you can do this to this dish. You can add cooked sausage bits or whatever, anything. You just pile this thing right up. Now you got about 17 more minutes on the oven. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. And it calls for this. Ah, there it is. Now I like fresh lime, but I didn't get a chance to get to the store, so I had to fake it. Add a little bit of lime to this. Just a splash here and there. It smells really good though, I can tell you that. Then we're just gonna put it right back in the oven. And what you're gonna do is pretty much everything is done. You just want the cheese to melt. And there it is. There you go, guys. Nacho wings in the stove. We got our fries. And I just put a little bit of blend on the fries, give it a little shake. And man, this stuff is good. I know I, I'm gonna enjoy it. 
I add a little bit more uh, blend on top. So you guys enjoy because uh, I am. <laughs> and um, one more thing. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>